Welcome back, you guys. Of course, I've got a ton of methods to make you a ton of coins. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe. Of course, if you do want a team like mine, all you can do is trade. Or if you do want an easy route, well, if you guys are looking to get some FIFA coins to improve your team and smash through Weekend League, check out U4GM FIFA 23 coins, and you can use code Recall for five percent off at checkout. Make sure to go check out the sponsor, guys. But let's get into the video. And before we do get into the video, I do want to apologise. The audio is not synced right now. There was a problem when I originally recorded it, so I've spoken over afterwards, and I do apologise. But the methods. Will still make you a ton and i hope you enjoy it so for the first one we do world cup phenomenons and defender you just want to find the max buy now and there's quite a few players under this you've got kahur um, and then you've got like so a couple other players around the same price so you can pick these up around 18k 15 16 so there's quite a few ranges that you can get this guy and make a decent bit of profit obviously there's a few other players on the filter as well but he's going to be the player you're picking up the most obviously as you can see, we do pick one up pretty quickly, especially with this new method of sniping from the main squad screen. It's a lot easier um, with not many people competing with you. So you can easily get a few of these. And even though it is like a special filter, you've still got opportunity. There's one there that we've missed, but you can kind of see they're really easy to pick up. Next up, we've got special Japan. For this one, you've got a few players under the... Next up, we've got Special Japan, so you've got Kamada, and you've got Nagatoga, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. You've got both of them at around the 15k mark, so you can easily make profit off these. Obviously, you've got Kubo, who can come up a little bit higher, so there's a couple cards at the minute out that you would have been able to make a ton of. Obviously, now that they're out of packs, they've gone up a little bit as well, so you can make a little bit more, and you've got like a bit of a bigger wider berth for the profit margin. Obviously, Kamada, for some reason, is a little bit more expensive than most informs as well, so he seems to be sticking to that price, and you can make a ton off him as well well and as you can see there we got our first one so we did miss the snipe initially but we got it straight after so easy for this one here so for this one as you can see we got the french world cup story so you got Giroud and rabio both of these sitting at around the same price again so easy to make a ton of coins on as you get 10 percent off with the ea tax there you're losing about 3,000 coins so with Giroud, you could pick him up at about 55 around that mark and you'll be making a good profit the same for rabio and obviously if he does come up you're going to make a little bit more so these two were really easy to, to find but we, we weren't managing to snag any obviously unfortunately we weren't sniping at the best times but because they're out of packs and they have been for about two weeks now i'm assuming they're going to spike up a little bit Giroud looks usable rabio is really good in game and a lot of people were raving on about both of them so hopefully they do go up a little bit you've got more uh, of a profit margin there but this one is a really easy one when you're on about 100k to make some more coins so for this one here you just got spanish and world cup stories and you've only got a couple of players under this one but they're all around the 200k mark so you can make a decent bit obviously it is a little bit of a harder one to find but a lot of the snipes here you can be making like 10 to 15k off because people are making big mistakes when they're listing the cards rather than like 3 4k on the lower end obviously i know this video is a little bit different a little bit probably more boring than the usual ones but obviously the initial audio are corrupted so we had to talk over a little bit and uh, haven't got the same quality content but hopefully we'll have the, the audio fixed for tomorrow but i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you guys tomorrow.